Today we'll be having a look at the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite Electric Trailer Brake Controller. The Red Arc Trailer Brake Controller is a great brake controller for those of you who are not only looking for a proportional brake controller, but for one that has a user control mode as well. User control mode is a great way for those of you who are towing a trailer, especially in off-road situations if you have an overland camping trailer or are driving down rough terrain. This brake controller works with not only electric brakes, but it also works with electric over hydraulic brakes without having to do any adjustments inside your vehicle at all. It'll automatically detect and work properly for both types. Now we'll show you how effective it is while we're driving. One of the great features about the Red Arc brake controller is the fact that it's a very small and compact unit that can be mounted anywhere. As you can see here inside of our Jeep, the only visible part that you're going to see is the actual control knob itself. This control knob is what you use to adjust your power. You can go all the way from zero up to 10, 10 being maximum brake effort, and zero being off. And this button is also what you use in order to apply your brakes manually by pressing down on the button. That will apply just your trailer brakes without you applying your vehicle's brakes. Also, you can use this knob to switch from automatic into user control mode. To do that, you just make sure your knob is all the way over at zero, step on your vehicle's brake pedal, and press the button twice, then release your brake pedal. As you can see, the LED indicator switches from blue to green to indicate that you are in user control mode. User control mode is the mode that you want to be in when you're going off-road because if you're traveling downhill and your foot is lightly on the brake pedal, you could confuse the brake controller as you go over a bump, causing the brakes to be applied when you don't need them applied. User control mode, your brakes will be applied at all times when your foot is on the brake pedal, even when you're not moving. Okay, we have a demonstration unit of our system right here so you can see how everything works. Right now, we have it in our automatic mode as indicated by the blue LED. I have it adjusted to zero right now. So what that means is when I step on the brakes pedal here, see our brake lights come on our trailer. Depending on how hard I press on the pedal, you see how much braking force we get by the LEDs getting brighter on our tow vehicle, but yet no brakes are being applied on our trailer. So if we dial this up to a middle setting of five, you can see that in the automatic mode, this is a proportional brake controller. And right now we have no brakes on our trailer, but the harder you step on the brake pedal, the faster you slow down, you see the brakes gradually come on on the trailer until you get the full braking output. Also, on the LED, it goes from a blue to a purple to a darker purple, almost to a red. If you dial this all the way up to 10, which is your max setting, you can see that your LED does go to red. Red being the maximum output, blue being no output. Now, if we want to operate our trailer brakes manually without operating our vehicle brakes, the override feature, just press down the button. And as you can see, it applies your trailer brakes only, your trailer brake lights and your vehicle brake lights, but not your vehicle brakes. This will be a great situation if your trailer starts to jackknife on you and you need to bring it back in line. Now, what user control mode is, over our automatic mode is there is no delay of our brakes being applied. They, they don't gradually get applied. They will immediately come on with no delay at all to what we have our brake controller dialed into. Now for video purposes, we have our controller set so that our trailer brakes are locking up. That way you can actually see it working. Now you'll always wanna make sure that your trailer brakes aren't locking up. You wanna have them adjusted to the point of almost locking up, that way you have the most braking efficiency available to you. You wanna make sure that they are set properly for road conditions and weather conditions. So if it's rain or snow, you wanna dial down the power a little bit so you don't have to worry about them locking up on you. See how the vehicle brakes with light pressure, they're dim which means there's a very little brake assist. We have full power 
on our trailer brakes immediately. Now when you use your control mode, your manual override still works the same way. Just push down on the button and you can see how quickly they come on. Now, once you find yourself back on normal pavement and you want to have a smooth ride and you want to switch back into proportional mode, what you can do is just dial your brake controller back down to zero, apply your brakes again, press the button twice, and release your brakes. The LED will change back to blue, indicating that you are in automatic mode. Typically, when you purchase a brake controller, you have the option of purchasing a time delayed or a proportional brake controller. However, this brake controller gives you proportional and a user control mode, which allows you to have full control of your brakes at all times and not have to worry about a delay occurring. You'll have full power immediately. Also being able to mount it at any angle is something that a lot of brake controllers can't do, especially ones that are proportional. And that completes our look at the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite Electric Trailer Brake Controller.